Okay, so this is a balloon exercise to help you understand what a normal rhythm might feel like. So you want to get a partner, and you want to blow up a balloon about the size of a head, and one person is going to be on the front and back, or top and bottom of the balloon as you hold it, and the other person is going to be on the sides, and you're not holding it, you're just making contact with the sides. So the person on the top and the bottom, you're the rhythm maker. You're going to compress the balloon. Don't do it yet. You're going to compress the balloon like I am right now for five seconds. And then you're going to let it up for five seconds nice and slow and easy. And I'm going to count it out for you. It's not this. One, two, three, four, five. That's another class. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's something else. And I've also seen people do this. <laughs> two, three, four, five. <laughs> like, you're in a big hurry. It's like, it's not that. Because you're the rhythm maker. You're trying to make a rhythm that's like the craniosacral rhythm. So nice and slow and easy. Um, the other thing I might see sometimes is this. I say, go ahead and compress, and I see this. <laughs> I'm like, that's not it either. Both hands go toward each other really gently. And if you're on the sides of the balloon, if they were to let go, it, the if you were to, they were to let go of the balloon, it would fall through. You're just barely touching it. If you're pressing on it, if everybody says, and I say compress, and everybody compresses at the same time, it doesn't work. Only one person is doing the work, top and bottom. Other person, you just close your eyes and let yourself be moved. Ready? Ready? Are you ready? Everybody touch. Everybody's ready. Top and bottom only. Compress, two, three, four, five, let off, two, three, four, five, compress, let off, nice and slow and easy, all the way off, all the way, and then reverse, compress, two, three, four, five, let off. Press, ask them if they're feeling it widen. Mm -hmm. Let off, ask them if they're able to follow it in. It's not a conversation, it's just a yes or no. So let's do that again, compress, ask them if it's widening, yes or no. Hands are on the side of the balloon. Let off, ask them if they can follow it in. If you say no, then use a little more pressure on this next one. Compress, two, three, four, five, let off. Is there, has everybody been feeling it who's on the sides? Okay, everybody keep holding the balloon, but stop doing the work. And then if you're on the sides of the balloon, close your eyes and relax, don't do anything. If you're on the top and the bottom, this is what you're going to do. So stay on it, because you're going to do something else. You're going to, don't do it yet, but you're going to push the balloon about two millimeters away from you and back to center. And then you're going to pull it toward you and then back to center. And then you're going to go to the right back to center that quickly and then you're going to go to the left and back to center what you're looking for is is that body that's touching the, the other body touching the balloon going to be moving with it or resist it and that body that's receiving that movement are you able to be pushed around by this balloon or are you blocking it so ready only the person on the top and bottom push it away from you a couple millimeters and then back to center go i didn't see balloons moving did you see me do it it's this. Push it away and back. Push it away and back. Okay. So ready? Let's start again. It's only one movement, one time. Push it away from you and then back to center. It's already back. Okay. It's too slow. It's a really quick movement, like you're landing on it. So let's try it again. Push it away from center and back toward you. Bring it toward you and then back to the center. Bring it to the right and then back to the center. Bring it to the left, and then back to the center. And then ask your partner, how did it feel getting pushed around by a balloon? <laughs> Were you easily moved, or did you find yourself resisting being moved? When you were pushing them, did they feel like they were a fluid body that was easily moved, or was there resistance? Oh, okay, fine, fine, fine. So, this resembles when you first contact somebody. 
you come on and you come on with too much pressure it's like pushing into their fluid body and they respond internally even if you're not aware of that and then they're managing you instead of letting you feel the surface rhythm you're already too deep and they're already trying to manage what you're trying to do so you want to come onto them like you're coming out of this balloon and not move them I saw this and I don't know if it was true but I've seen it before somebody picked up the legs and I saw them go back you just pulled on their whole fluid body toward you you can't do that if you want to get an accurate sense of how the rhythm is moving without your influence. So to be completely neutral, you don't want to be moving, you don't want to touch somebody and then get yourself comfortable. Okay, now I'm going to feel the rhythm. You've already thrown so much interference into the body, into the fluid body, that you might not feel the rhythm. So get yourself all set and ready to go and comfortable before you make first contact. Then make first contact and then just sit on the surface like you are on the sides of the balloon and let yourself be moved easily like you're just a balloon full of water a human shaped balloon full of fluid so switch places on the balloon and then we can stop and take it